everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i want to talk about finances i want to talk about how i did for november i want to talk about what i plan on doing going into december i want to talk about money period okay so let's start off with some transparency i screwed up i screwed up tremendously I screwed up saving. I screwed up um, managing my money. I screwed up. Screwed up to the point that I said, okay, I'm not ready yet. I have to go back to cash envelopes <laughs> because this is ridiculous. Um, it was so easy just to swipe my card. And I had some cash envelopes, but... I wanted something different. You, when you get ready to make a change in your life, and you, number one, you already know it's gonna kind of be semi-hard or hard, but you want it to. If I'm gonna do it, I want to at least kind of have fun doing it. So, I decided to order some more cash envelopes. Hopefully, this will get my finances, help me get my finances in check. You like cash envelopes gonna help you get your finances in check? Look. Yes, they are because having the cash and being mindful of the cash that you're spending because you're looking at it dwindle versus you just swiping your car without a care in the world is two different things, let me tell you. So, you're like, how did you mess up, Key? Let me tell you. November. <sighs> Hold on. So, I'm actually going to November's budget just to get a refresher on what I did and didn't do. Okay, so for November, I was supposed to I was supposed to save three hundred dollars. I was supposed to have no eating out for two weeks. I was supposed to my major money goal was four hundred dollars my cash envelopes which i did not use in the november um, i was supposed to put 50 up for retirement um 25 for the kids allowance but audrey now has a job so i only would have been putting in for the little reds allowance uh fur baby didn't get anything emergency rainy day was supposed to get 50 kids care was supposed to get 50 Kiss, Larissa saving was supposed to get 25 The car phone was supposed to get 20 And that was supposed to equal up to $220. Okay. This is where I fell off. I didn't do the cash envelope system. I contribute, con contribute con I made a contribution to all of those funds, but I spent more than I saved. For me, my thing is I always like to balance it out. If I'm gonna spend a lot, I wanna save a lot. And even if I spend less, I still wanna save a lot. But I spent more than I saved. But like I was saying, I did not accomplish that. And I felt really, really disappointed. Um, what I will be able to do is a side-by-side -side comparison. So for November, um, my retirement fund, I was able to save 121, which is okay. Last month I saved 200. Um, my rainy day fund, I didn't save anything for that. Last month, I was able to save $250. Actually, I went into my rainy day fund. Um, I ended up putting the money back, but it was just the point that I went into it. And it isn't how it started off. I think it's like $100 more than it was at first. And I'm probably still going to have to use that rainy day fund if some things don't come through the way. Hush, so if some things don't come through the way I plan for them to come through. Um, ex the expensive treat thing. That's my thing when I find a handbag that I want or something that I have thought about, thought about, thought about, thought about, thought about, and thought about. And if I just gotta have it, I'm talking about gotta have it, two, three days from now, it's still on my mind, then I get it. But for that, that account didn't even exist last last month it was more of a personal savings and i turned it into a expensive treat thing and you'll see why in a second but you you'll see everything over here um i contribute ten dollars to that if you see me looking off that's because i have a big monitor in front of me uh my car fund 
I contribute. I do have a car fund now. I was doing a five and ones challenge, but, and I'm still doing a fives and ones challenge, but what I have it set up for is like my car fund. I'm adding extra money to that, but I'm also adding fives to that. My keys, my keys saving, I'm also adding money to that, but I'm adding ones to that. So for my car fund, I put away $30. Um, keys fund, I didn't put away anything. The Rock IRA, I put $15 in each one. That is not a lot of money. I was expecting to put way more than that up. But like I said, I ended up spending more money than I saved. That was a major big problem for me. Um, rollover money was zero. But what I will say is what I'm proud of. Last month, I paid uh, $1,081 worth of debt. This month, I wasn't... Um, I, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but it wasn't bad because I still paid off $1,020 worth of debt. But then I feel like that's a fail too. And I'm going to tell you why. I feel like that's a fail because, yeah, I paid that money off, but I also ran up two credit cards. That if I would have just waited, I probably wouldn't have ran up and I would have been fine. But I don't know. You have to kind of... um admit to your mess and what i'm admitting to is i spent way more money than i should have so what are my plans for december <sighs> let's talk about it y'all i'm moving to my next screen what are my plans for december you eggs So, as you can see, my plans for December are, um, my total income will be $3,128. Um, my extra income, I'm expecting it to be $240. My total bills and expenses are going to be $3,093. Um, all that my to-do for December is just to get my nails done. I decided to just get overlays. Um, get my car detailed. When I say detailed, I'll probably just be going to the car wash, backing it out, shampooing the seats myself. But I'm going to detail my car. Um, I want to save $300. No eating out, seriously, for the month of December for two weeks. Um, two weeks of no buys. Because, and when I say no buys, I mean no buys of anything. Because, see, I try to get away with the fact that Okay, it's not that big of a deal because it's only ch chapstick and it's only 99 cents. But that's still buying something. So I'm going to do two weeks of no buys and no eating out. As far as my cash envelopes, I plan to put $30 in my retirement. $25 in Little Red's allowance. Zero in the fur bay because he has everything he could possibly need. Um, emergency rainy day, $30. Keys care, $228. Um, red little red saving is 25 each. The car fund 25. The gas for my car for the month is $60. Eating out zero. Nails 45. That total equals up to more than 220. So I don't know why I have 220, but I'll have the correct total. By the time you see this, the correct total will be input. Um, my major money goal is to save $400. Now, I know that that. It's not really realistic, but I'm going to try like hell. Um, hopefully, that'll come from me not spending as much money and me doing these no buys for two weeks um, with no eating out and no buying anything. Also, another thing that played a part in my excessive spending was getting ready for Christmas. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to do anything for Christmas. I know I said I wasn't going to buy anything for Christmas, but those are my kids. And I, I just, I'm a giver. I'm a giver by nature, and I like to give to my family. And the thought of me not being able to give to them, um, even though they get stuff year-round, they get stuff year-round. I just think Christmas is like... We get the gift of God, so I want to give gifts to them and just really, just, I don't know. I don't know what made me do it because really it's not even about the gift giving on Christmas Day. It's really about God, but I did and I went crazy and I spent more than I should have on Christmas gifts for everyone when they were okay and content with not receiving anything at all. It was really just me that wanted to give them something. 
I'm sorry y'all, I have a house and my house has a family in it and in my family they make noise so every now and then I gotta tell them to pipe down. Um, bills and expenses for this month. We have the rent which is $7.99. We have First Trust Power which I don't have to pay this month. Um, dog insurance is $48 every month. Cricket is $149 but my daughter is taking that bill on since she's working now but I will be paying it in advance and she's just going to be giving me the money in payments for installments. Um, let's see. Wig Slayers was a group that I was in. I'm still in the group. I'm just not in the subscription group. Because there's the group and then there's a subscription group and then there's the swap wig swap and sale group. I'm still in the wig swap and sale group. I'm still in the original group. I just had to take the subscription group out of my um bills for a second. Not saying that I won't go back to them because I love that group, but right now it's not doesn't financially make sense to, to do do it right now. Xfinity 181 a month center point i don't have a center point, center point bill this month thank god audrey does not get an allowance anymore because she has her own money um loray he will get 25 dollars kavana gets 13 because that's how i edit my videos that's how i do all this that's how i'm able to look at this y'all are able to look at this um layout my iras i'm gonna be putting 25 in each one of those car insurance 296 um, my car note, I'm going to be giving them $700. i am going to try to give them $700. But from the looks of things, because of what I did for Christmas, they probably won't be getting anything but the minimum payment, which is $401, which I'm really, really sad about. Although I'm still on task to pay my car off in April, I feel like I wasted that I, I didn't waste it because it's going to my kids, but I could have. <coughs> they, we could have just loved on each other for Christmas because they were content with that. Um, Reflex, which is a credit card, is thirty five dollars. Um, Legacy, which is a credit card, is thirty dollars. First Savings, which is a credit card, is fifty dollars. Cold, which is twenty seven. Forever twenty one thirty five. Firestone fifty. YouTube seven dollars because I just cannot do those ads. That's the one thing I can't give up. Y'all see, I don't have Netflix on there anymore because I did give up Netflix. Um, my ties, although that says fifty, that is the minimum that my that I pay. But I pay according to what I get paid. Matter of fact, I shouldn't even have ties in there because that's like really personal. That's something between you and God. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to put my ties in there because I never end up paying that amount. It's either more or sometimes it may be a little less, but it's predominantly more. So I don't think I'll be putting that in there anymore because I feel like there's something private between me and God. Um, Sapphire credit card, 198 nails $40 Jay, yeah this overlay was $45 and the only reason it was $45 is because I got acrylic if I would have just got a gel nail or something it probably would have been like $27 but I need acrylic because I'm hard on my nails but I don't like the nail shop I went to so I probably won't be going to them again because what I spent with them is the same that I spent with my old nail tech lady and she does to me she does a better job of quality so I prefer to pay for quality so although they are cute I don't like the way they conduct their business so I probably won't go to them again and I'm not going to tell y'all the name of the nail shop because I don't want y'all to patron it either JCPen is $27 my freedom card 30 um <clears throat> so yeah that is what my december's budget is looking like um i am going to do a separate video where we put this budget on paper and you go through with me um me putting this budget on paper but i just i really made this video to be transparent and to be honest with you guys and say that it is okay to fall off as long as you get back up and don't be a quitter now what I do want to go over with you guys. Let me go here. <coughs> and you're going to see this on your screen as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a debt payoff comparison. So number one, this is what, because I started this journey and I really got down and dirty with it in September. Like really keeping track of it. So in September I paid off. $1,673 worth of debt. 
In October, I paid down $3,568 of debt. And in November, I paid $1,020 of debt. Well, that's nice. But my debt snowball was not what I thought it should be. It was only $136. Very disappointed in that for the month of November. What's wrong, son? Come here. Come on. Now, um, hush tote. If you're not going to come here, hush. So, another thing I want to show you is, so far, the debt I paid off for this year is $7,287.47. Now, that would be good if I hadn't re-ran my credit cards back up. So now that debt is still there and it's like I didn't pay that off because I cured that debt all over again. Instead of just um, paying those cards off and, not even, and acting as if they're not there. I didn't do that. I was very irresponsible with my finances for the month of November. So I'm really disappointed in that. And I feel like that that number right there was all for nothing um let's see what i want to show you next yeah that that's that's pretty much what i wanted to show you guys oh this right here let me pull this up so what you're looking at is my debt payoff journey according to this app i use i have two years and eight months until i'm debt free actually that number is wrong and i'm going to tell you why in a minute I've completed 13.6% and my debt snowball as of right now has been 130. six dollars and i'm due to be debt free july 2023 my top five debts are my car notes now this is why that 2023 number is wrong i'll actually be, this debt will actually probably be paid off by 20 by 2021 this debt will be paid off and I'm, I'm telling you because my card will be paid off in april so the biggest debt i have right now which um is 83 i i have 83 percent more to go on this is my car note payment that is my highest debt my next to the highest debt is my chase sapphire card with me owing um $4,934. Oh, my Santana, my car note, I owe $50,076. My Firestone card, $1,312. My Reflex, I owe $364. My Forever 21, $810. And that is my top five debts that I need to get um, away from because they hold the most um, interest on them i'm paying the highest interest rates on those particular cards so i have to get them out of my out of my way um so i feel like once i pay this this off that car note that you see that my debt my payoff day will drop tremendously tremendously so my end goal is to like i said to have my car paid off in april and I don't know why Kohl's is not up here, but I do plan to be finished paying for my Kohl's card really, really soon. So, yeah, that is what happened in November, what I plan to be doing in December, and how I plan on doing so. Like I said, I am not happy with how I did my finances um, for the month of November. I'm really praying for... In intentional living that god helps me with intentional living for december that he helps me be strong in my conviction conviction of not spending money and help me be strong in my conviction of saving money um for the month of december and for future for um for for um months and months to come years and years to come um and i'm really hoping that i can <clears throat> stay consistent because it's about staying consistent and i think part of me staying consistent is saying hey i am not doing good and letting you guys know hey this is really harder than i thought 
and I was on the right track. And somebody said that when you get so focused on paying off debt, paying off debt, paying off debt, paying off debt, saving money, saving money, you eventually get burnt out because you feel like you're not able to enjoy life. And I think that's what happened to me. And I didn't look at the fact that, hey, by me paying off this debt, I'll be able to enjoy life more. By me saving this money, in the in, in the end game of it all, I'll be able to enjoy this money more. I was thinking about the right now. And because I felt like I was depriving myself, I spent tons and tons of money that I could have been saving. So I know that although I'm doing a financial reset in December, I do know that I will not be on the right track until January. Um, and that happens to be my birthday month. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, y'all, this I'm just letting you guys know that sometimes you fall off and it's okay. <coughs> It's how you handle the situation that matters. Realize your mistake. Figure out ways to um, help yourself. Write down a game plan. Figure it out. Just really sit down and have a come to Jesus moment with yourself. Because that's what I had to do. Um, yeah. So I'm going to get out of here. I enjoyed talking to you guys. I hope this helps somebody. Because everybody probably thinks that that us, that the people that are trying to pay down debt or people that are trying to save a certain amount of money, they probably think that, oh, they don't have a hard time or they don't have struggles. Yes, we do, honey. I have a struggle with money because I like to spend. I'm a natural born spender. I have, I've always had this attitude of if I got the money, I'm going to buy it. And do you really have the money if you're in debt? That is the question I had to ask myself. How do you really have the money to go just buy what you want and you're in debt? You don't have the money. You're spending money that you could use to get you out of debt so you could enjoy life. So no, you don't have the money. And I'm realizing that now. So, yeah. I, I, I feel like December is going to be very promising. I feel like I have control of December. Like I said, I am going back to cash envelopes because that's what works for me. That's what helps me stay on track and hold myself accountable. And until I am able to say, hey, I don't need these, which I, which I may or may not be able to do. Until I can say, hey, I can manage this money on my own. I don't need cash envelopes to situate it. Which I think cash envelopes are helpful anyway because it has a category for everything and those categories don't have to be set in stone. You can switch those categories up if you want to. But until then, I'm going to continue to use cash envelopes because they help me be consistent. They help me be intentional with my spending. And I'm more aware of how I spend when I use cash envelopes. So, yeah. I am going to get out of here because I have a dog scratching on my door, which is a sign that he needs attention. Um, remember to think, to spend smart, think smart, and have fun planning it all out. I will see you guys next month. Well, actually, I'll see you before that because, you know, this is a lifestyle channel. This is a all-around channel. But as far as we're talking about finances and how I did for the month of December, I will see you at, I mean, yeah, letting you know how I did for December. I will see you at the end of the month, at the end of December. Well, actually, I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you at the end of December because this is the end of November and this is what I plan on doing for December. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.